Hey folks, welcome back to the channel, where today we will discuss the best Dolby Atmos soundbar on the market. Without further ado, let's get started. Oh, and by the way, links to all the featured products are given in the description below. The Samsung HW-Q950T is the best Dolby Atmos soundbar that we've examined. This well-built 9.1.4 setup comes equipped with two satellite speakers and a dedicated subwoofer to help present an immersive movie-watching experience. Though we don't test for it, it comes with Q-Symphony, which can produce a speaker-like sound by utilizing your cooperative Samsung QLED TV speakers in addition to the soundbar. This system highlights two HDMI inputs that provide digital video and audio input and visual input that gives an additional input option for digital audio. Bluetooth connectivity is built into the soundbar for wireless audio streaming from cooperative devices like smartphones and tablets. At the same time, onboard Wi-Fi allows you to control the system with the SmartThings app. Amazon Alexa is built into the system for hands-free voice control. The HW-Q950T supports select Dolby Digital and DTS audio formats, including Dolby Atmos and DTS-X, for an immersive 3D audio experience. In extension to our wireless subwoofer, the HW-Q950T comprises a wireless rear speaker system. Sadly, unlike some of the other premium soundbars we've experimented with, it doesn't come with a room correction characteristic, so your audio might sound a bit different depending on the room you utilize it in. Also, the tight fabric covering the speakers looks like it could collect dust easily over time. Nevertheless, if you like seeing Atmos movies, it offers versatile overall performance. If you need an extra subwoofer in your setup, consider the Nakamichi Shockwave Ultra 9.2 CH. While the sound profile of this soundbar isn't as well balanced as the Samsung HW-Q950T, and it doesn't give as many sound customization traits, its two wireless subwoofers can help add extra thump and punch to action-packed films. It's better built than the Samsung, and it also comes provided with four rear speakers to help bury you in your audio. Out of the box, it has a pretty neutral sound form, but it can also sound a bit dark or dull. There are a few EQ presets to assist you in customizing its sound, and you can also utilize the bass button on the remote to control the subwoofer volume. It has a bit more compression than the Samsung at the highest volume, but it still gets loud. This soundbar has Bluetooth connectivity for pairing with your cooperative smart device and wirelessly streaming your audio content. Its wired connections include optical, digital coaxial, 8th inch, and 3 HDMI inputs to support various source types. Also, it has a USB port for playback of MP3s and WAV files. Its HDMI output is ARC compatible so that you can listen to display-based audio from built-in apps like Netflix and YouTube. The best Dolby Atmos soundbar with a 5.1 setup that we've experimented with is the Sonos ARC. This 5.1.2 setup comes provided with a dedicated subwoofer and two satellite speakers so you can bury yourself in your preferred movies. When you watch Dolby Atmos content, it employs up-firing speakers on the bar itself to bounce sound off the ceiling to simulate height. It highlights an 11-driver design with dedicated up- and side-firing drivers that, along with Dolby Atmos's adaptability, produce an immersive 3D soundstage with your cooperative TV and content. With Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant built in, you can voice control the ARC and enjoy all your favorite characteristics of either virtual assistant. The ARC is also cooperative with Siri when paired with your compatible iOS devices. The soundbar can be placed in front of your TV or mounted to the wall, and TruePlay technology helps optimize the audio output to suit its surroundings. Sadly, while it comes with bass and treble adjustment characteristics, it lacks a full graphic EQ for more comprehensive sound customization. Also, the full setup isn't broadly available as a full package at the moment, so you might have to purchase the components separately on the Sonos website. Nevertheless, if you're looking for a premium soundbar that can immerse you in your preferred Atmos content, it's a solid option. The Sennheiser Ambio is the best standalone soundbar to look out for. Its unique 13-speaker integrated design produces an immersive experience with only a standalone bar. It's an eye-catcher with such a vast design and high-end look. It features three HDMI inputs to connect digital video and audio and visual information for an additional input option for digital audio. 
Its brushed aluminum exterior and minimalist detailing are designed to meet the needs of those seeking design and performance in one soundbar. And its onboard room calibration technology can adapt the audio output to your room's acoustic specifications to enhance the 3D effect. And its six long throw woofers produce low bass and five dedicated tweeters help precisely recreate mid-range vocals. Regrettably, it's big and finding the correct position for it isn't easy. If you don't have ambio mode initiated, the sound signature also lacks bass and instead leans more bright. On the upside, if you don't like this sound profile, you can customize the EQ with the companion app. While it might be challenging to find on some third-party retailers, you can still buy it on the Sennheiser website. If you're looking for a standalone choice that can do it all without a dedicated subwoofer, this one is a great choice. If you are on a budget, the TCL Alto 8i is the ideal choice for you. This 2.1 setup has two subwoofers combined into the bar, which serves with bass production. It's sold as Roku TV ready, so it should be simple to pair it with your Roku TV. When set to the music EQ preset, its sound profile is punchy and boomy overall, though its mid-range is well balanced, so conversation sounds clear and present in the mix. There are bass, treble benefits, and three EQ presets, allowing you to tweak the sound profile to your desire. It has a broad soundstage, and it fits for large rooms since it can get deafening. You can also stream audio wirelessly from your smart device via Bluetooth. Unfortunately, since it doesn't come with satellite speakers, it has to downmix surround sound content into stereo, resulting in a less immersive surround sound experience. Also, it lacks a dialogue enrichment feature and room correction characteristic, so its sound profile may modify depending on the room it's in. That stated though, if you're looking for a soundbar at a more affordable price point and don't mind a more straightforward design, it's worth considering. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, then hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you loved it. Take a moment to hit the bell icon so you'll get notified of all our new latest uploads.